in this tutorial we are going to talk about waves so i've got a question with me here which is saying an object of mass m is connected to the two lab band of length l each under the tension f as as shown in the fig, uh, in the figure below the object is displaced vertically by a small distance y assuming the tension does not change show that but a the restoring force is uh, is equal to negative open brackets 2f over l cross the brackets times y but b the system exhibits simple harmonic motion with angular frequency of the square root of 2f over ml okay so now the first thing which we have to understand is uh, we have been given the diagram and then we know that when we talk of the restorant force we are talking about the general formula which is a uh, negative kx okay where k is constant so now in this case we have been told that the displacement where there is x we are supposed to put y a y is the displacement so we're going to say that the f is going to be equal to negative k times y okay now we need to understand to say the diagram which we have here the original the original string was here and then more like you are pushing it up so we are going to have the tension force so this is the tension force which you have so we've got two tension force now they're saying that those two tension force which you have they are the same so the tension force doesn't change so we have got the same tension force now what we need to understand is that how can we get uh, the y since as we can see here it has been pushed at an angle so we have, we have formed at an angle here we have formed angle here okay so we are trying to get the tension force we are trying to get the restorant force in terms of what in terms of um the the y now okay in terms of y so what we are going to do here we are going to use sokato we can see that this is going to be our opposite over hypotenuse okay so we can say that sin theta is going to be equal to the opposite is y divided by what the tension force okay the tension force and then to get to find the y is going to be y is going to be equal to the tension force times sin theta so we can say that this part here is going to be the same as this one here so we can put it there but now we need to understand that we are talking about the restorant force so that is the same force which we have here so this force is going to represent as what the restorant force so what we are going to do is we want to get the relationship which is going to be there between this formula which we have here and the formula which we are going to get okay so what we are going to do now from there is uh, we are going to represent uh, the restorant force with what the tension force okay so in this in, in this case the restorant force is going to be equal to the tension force okay so we're going to say that uh, the restorant force is going to be equal to negative since it is going in the restorant force always has got t negative it's going to be f t sin theta okay now this f let me you can just say f but we're talking about the tension force we've been told that the tension force is f okay so you can just put f which is just okay we can say that is f sin theta okay but we want to get the relationship which is going to be like this we need to get the constant and the the displacement but we need to understand that this is this is uh, under simple harmonic motion now under simple harmonic motion for us to to get the formula which is this one we are supposed to get lead of uh, the third function now they are saying that the object is displaced vertically by a small angle so if it if it is a small angle then we need to know that sin theta if the angle is too small sin theta is approximately equal to tan theta okay now why are we doing this i'm trying to come up with the expression which is going to give us 2f over what l okay but now from here we need to understand that this expression which you have just gotten here it is just for for this part only but we have, we have been told that it is the same 
it doesn't change so even this part is going to be the same so it's the same as i just do the external force is going to be equal to negative 2 sine theta meaning i'm done with the left hand side and the right hand side so now since we are saying that sine theta has to be equal to tan theta we are going to replace where the sine theta with tan theta so we're going to say this is going to be equal to there is f here sorry so we're going to say negative 2 f tan theta so now from this triangle which you have here what is our tan theta from the triangle which we have here what is our tan theta we can see that tan theta is just basically the adjacent over um the adjacent over what the opposite over adjacent that is tan theta not so so the opposite is y as you can see there that is y adjacent is l so we're going to say over l so where this tan theta we're going to put this the reason why we're doing this we are trying to come up with this expression so now we want to to represent it in in a simple harmonic motion way whereby we don't have we, we, we don't need to have what a trig function that's why we are replacing all these stuff so i'm going to replace where this tan theta with it, y over l so i'm going to come there and say it's going to be this is going to be given by uh, negative 2 f where there is it, tan theta i'm going to put y over l and then now from here i know that the force which we're going to apply there is not going to change it's going to be constant and then at the same time the length will not change because we're talking about the same string but the y it can change suppose you you extend it going further meaning the, the y can change so the y is the same as the displacement it's a displacement actually so i'm going to say that this is going to be equal to i can put these guys to say it's going to to be like this then i say this meaning that oh, i i put y here this is supposed to be y this y meaning that this part here is our x from this formula okay this part here is our x then the whole of this part is our our, our k constant so you can say that our k is going to be equal to um it is just basically 2 f over l then our x is uh, y okay so this is how you can show that the restaurant force is given by this formula here so this is the formula which we can see here then the second part is saying that show that the system exhibits simple harmonic motion with angular frequency of we have been given this this is the formula so we need to show that this is uh, 2 pi it's just basically the angular frequency is equal to the square root of um, 2f over l over m l so how can we show that now it's very simple we know that angular frequency in a simple harmonic motion is given by the formula uh, the square root of k over m okay but we are saying that in this case the k is this part it's this one okay so we are going to put 2 f over l where there is k so we are going to say that this guy is going to be equal to here we are going to put 2 f over l everything divided by m so this is going to be the same as this is going to be the same as uh, if we simplify it it's going to be the angular frequency is going to be equal to this part here since it is down there it's going to come here so it's going to be the square root of 2f over ml so this is how you can show okay